What's up guys, I'm Austin France 56 here. A lot of you have been requesting that I do a uh, command prompt slash batch programming uh, basics. And well, I thought I would go ahead and uh, attempt, attempt to do this for you guys. So, <clears throat> the first program that I ever made in command prompt, I had no idea what I was doing, but I followed a tutorial. And uh, I still had no idea what any of these... Uh, commands meant. Uh, so I started making tutorials of my own and uh, lo and behold people knew what they were talking about. Uh, so I figured I would share the knowledge with you guys that I have learned over the years and uh, maybe help some people out. So the first command we're going to look at is help uh, and I've got it all displayed here on the screen for you. Uh, just full screen 1080p. I think I might do this in 720p. Anyway, do it in the highest resolution possible, and you can come along and read with me, or just listen to what I'm saying. So the first command that we're going to look at here is help. This is going to be the go-to thing for you if you're really wanting to get deep into uh, programming in command prompt or or uh, using text files to uh, program batch files. Uh, so help. Let me just show you. It will show every single command uh, for you. And I was using this earlier to uh, kind of get the more condensed list of things that would be useful for uh, anyone that is just starting out. So we, we have all these commands here. You can do this yourself. Uh, an easy way to open command prompt is to either search for it or um, right click on the windows logo and then go up to command prompt from there so uh, yeah so now that we have that out of the way <coughs> the next one I'm gonna talk about is something that everyone has been hounding me on after my matrix tutorial and that is at echo on or off uh, if it's on it will show the commands that are being interpreted uh, if it is off it will not show the commands um, and, and let me uh, let me show really quickly uh, what that looks like here I don't have it pulled up um, yeah I don't have it pulled up oh well <laughs> I have a demo or later on in the video so I'll show it off whenever I get there uh, title let me show you how title works. Uh, title changes the title of the command prompt window. It's useful for batch scripts if you're wanting to do that. Um, so if I t change the title to prompt command, if I can type today, it will change the title up here to prompt command, or I can change it to anything that I want to. There we go. Hello world, or this is cool. Anything you want, and I don't. Yeah, I don't think it will uh, allow you to change it back very easily to command prompt. But you can change it to command prompt manually if you want to. I don't see why, but there you go. That's how title works. Uh, CLS. It's very simple. If I type in CLS here on the command prompt window and I hit enter, all of that text that was just there is now cleared. Okay. Um, color. This is really cool. Um, rather than trying to explain how color works to you, I'm going to say this is X and Y. X is the background color, Y is the foreground color. So 0A, 0 is black, A is light green it will change it to this sort of awesome looking terminal style uh, text here so we can do that and then we can change it to like um, C let me, let me see what a weird color would be C1 there we go uh, what, what, what's white? 07 there we go. So we're going to clear the screen there. So now that, now that you've seen me play around with color for a while, um, 
let's uh let's, let's let's move on here you can pause the video and get these if you want i might put these in the description if i can remember to do so um but yeah so the next thing we're going to talk about is echo and like we said at echo off will stop displaying every single command that is done so what does echo itself do well let me show you it uh it'll print out whatever is after it so echo I want to say CLS doesn't work if I can type today see echo CLS doesn't work after echo and it will print it in the next line by itself so you don't have the C users next to it and here we go If I can even type today. Let's see, there we go. It says hello world after that. So that's a basic demo of what Echo does, and I'll show you a little bit of a demo after uh, we get to it. Um, like I said, at the end of the video we're gonna we're gonna do a little demo. So go to uh, I will show you how that works in the next text file. Uh, pause, it'll stop the uh, program from continuing after uh, after it hits a pause so we can say pause here and it'll say press any key to continue so it doesn't immediately show uh, the input again until I hit enter here and then now I can put in text uh, timeout works about the same way um, you can press any key to continue while a timeout is going on or you can wait for the the uh, the timer to finish so I'm gonna put it on 100 seconds here and it'll wait for 100 seconds before it uh, continues or you can press any key to continue now the thing about timeout is it doesn't work on any uh, Windows operating system that is below Windows Vista Windows Vista is the first time that they introduced this command I'm not sure why there's a difference but uh, I haven't gotten it to work in Windows XP or new or older, I should say. And then uh, we can uh, we can use Start if we want to open up a web page. Uh, and, and Start can be used for other things, I know. But in today's video, I'm gonna just focus on telling you how to use Start to open web pages from batch files because that is what I've used it for primarily. And yeah here and there okay so start I'm wanting to open up YouTube but I can't just go youtube.com can I see Windows cannot find youtube.com make sure you type to the name correctly and then try again and then try again so it can't find youtube.com why I'll tell you why it needs to know that it is a web page so you need to go HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com and it will open up the default browser to that uh, it will open up the default browser to that website as long as it is a website not just youtube.com you need to make sure that it has the uh, HTTP and www in front of it unless otherwise noted um, but if it doesn't see the HTTP, it won't think that it's a website, and it'll try to open it as a file. And well, let's just say that won't work out too well. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how directories work and all sorts of different things that are the more advanced things that I learned uh, later on in my uh, programming knowledge for this. But uh, I said there's going to be a demo, so let's go to the demo real quick. Okay. So, for the demo, it was uh, it was kind of hard for me to, to think of something to really get us started off, but this is going to demonstrate color, title, and go to, uh, and pause and exit and all that fancy, fancy stuff. So, um, here we're going to have at echo off for now, and then we'll change it uh, whenever I feel like it. Uh, the color is going to be 0A, which is the cool terminal looking uh, color combination 
the title is going to be demo one and you'll see that I'll probably zoom in after I'm editing this uh, and we're gonna go to start now logic would have us believe that the next thing in line here in this text file would be the next thing that is called but that is not true we say okay this is going to go to start so it will skip all of this entirely and go directly to this why is that okay well start or, or go to uh, will look for these colons and whatever's next to them and it is case sensitive so if I had this as start it would never come up with the capital S it would never come up um, but then I call not start right after start so we'll, we'll see how this works and I have pause in here and you'll see how pause works in a uh, batch file as well so let me go ahead and go over here and start up demo one okay as you can see the title up here is demo one and it says this page will display first since it is called first which is exactly what is happening um, here this page will display first since it is called first alright and then this is the last page to display and we can see that the pause here is working so that it's not immediately going straight all the way through it let's take out the pause in both of these <coughs> And let's go ahead and take the, the clear screen out as well. Let's take the pause out of the first one and the clear screen out. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reopen this. Okay. This page will display. Oh, I didn't save it. Duh. <laughs> okay. Save. And then we'll open this again. And see, now both of those are there. Since I didn't clear the screen, this doesn't get cleared off. And this gets put under it so if you don't clear the screen it'll just keep printing lower and lower until uh, you fill up the window and it, it's just kinda messy um, so we we always want to clear the screen and we always want to pause between things unless we're doing something different with the uh, file that requires multiple lines to be printed out at the same time <coughs> so we don't always have to um, we don't always have to have just one line per uh, page so we can go multi-line there we go um, so we can say clear screen here and then I want to go to multi-line and then we're gonna go echo this is line one and then echo this is line two line three and so on Uh, we're gonna exit the program afterwards let's, actually let's see what happens if I don't have the exit there let's see um, so we could save that this page is first this is the last page to display which isn't true anymore and then we have multiple lines here and yeah okay if it reaches the end of the file then it will automatically exit I didn't know that for sure so that's why I didn't uh, didn't put that in there so now I do now I do know I learned something new alright so I think this concludes today's tutorial uh, if you have any questions let me know and I'll try to clear that up in the next tutorial or I'll reply to your comment and let you know uh, what I think of uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.